The Young Scholars Program began in 1993. We work with students who have been selected in the spring of their sixth grade and we work with them all the way through high school graduation. Our goals are to keep them on track in school, um, to keep them motivated to come to school, uh, to be the best students they can be, ideally to be prepared to go on to college, um, but certainly to graduate from high school with um, an advanced Regents diploma. The students work with us all year round. We have a summer program, um, for the youngest three grades. We also work with them in the schools from September through June, uh, really providing tutoring and mentoring as they struggle with whatever coursework they have. Um, and at the higher school, at the high school level, helping them to figure out what they want to do, um, what their career interests might be, what colleges might be appropriate. We started um, because there was a, an issue in the early 1990s in Utica with a very high dropout rate in the Utica public schools. Um, and of the students staying in school, not many were really preparing to go on to college. So Utica College officials and some officials from the Utica City School District sat down to try to figure out what to do with this. Their answer was to create us. Mike Damsky, uh, who was a board member here at Utica College, actually was a graduate of Ohio State University and had read in his alumni bulletin, which we all get, that they had started up this program called Young Scholars. And so he contacted them and lo and behold, Utica College stepped up to the plate and said, yes, we'll participate. The program as it was conceived was pretty much a challenge program. We said to at-risk students in Utica, if we're successful in helping you raise your grade point average to a certain degree, we're going to guarantee you a college education. We have had now 12 groups go all the way through and we've maintained a 95 percent graduation rate. Um, and since 2005, 97 percent of our students have gone on to college. They go to two-year schools, four-year schools, private schools, public schools, in-state, out-of-state. Um, they're doing wonderful things. I entered the Young Scholars Program as an eighth grader, and really I had a nice foundation as far as academics is concerned, but it was all about fun for me and um, really didn't have structure and focus when it came to academics before Young Scholars. I knew it was going to help me with my academics and furthering my career throughout middle school and high school, so I thought it would be a good experience. Um, we went on a lot of field trips to help with college applications, and you meet a lot of people throughout the program who you're friends with through middle school and high school, which really helps to develop a support system. I would say Young Scholars more than anything instilled a work ethic in me as far as what I need to do to get what, get to where I want to be. During sixth grade, I was kind of a troublemaking kid, bubble rouser, if you will. But uh, yeah, when I joined Young Scholars, that's when I started thinking about college seriously. We lived in Dominican Republic, so my dad didn't make it past fourth grade, and my mom didn't make it past eighth grade. So they're very proud of me for going through high school and getting to college. Here we are, 18 years later, with a very, very successful program. Probably a uh, something that the rest of the country should take a really close look at because uh, it, the data really speaks for itself. We've been very successful. Any school district could benefit from a program like this. I certainly think that um, if there's the interest, if there's the motivation for other um, areas to develop a program, um, we would be a great model. We got a winner. This is a great program.